You can also have patterns in pictures. You can have a repeating pattern, a pattern where a series of pictures repeats. Take this picture, for example. We have a smiley face looking straight ahead, and then it's tilted to the side, tilted to the side, upside down. So if we take that pattern and just repeat it, straight ahead, tilted to the side, tilted to the side, upside down. And again, straight ahead, side, tilted to the side, tilted to the side, upside down. And that pattern can just repeat on forever. Another type of picture pattern is a growing pattern, a pattern where a picture grows by the same amount each time. So let's start with this little triangle. Cute little guy. Then it grows into a larger figure. So we had this triangle here, and then if we compare it to the second figure, there it is, and it grew two more triangles. Then we have the second figure is right here, and it grew three more triangles. Then our next figure was here, and it grew one, two, three, four more triangles. So each time it's growing another set of triangles along the side. Let's look at some examples of picture patterns. Okay. We want to figure out which picture is missing from the pattern. So we have our arrows pointing down, down, left, up, down, down, left. Huh, it seems to be repeating these first four. This must be a repeating pattern. So then down, down, left. This must be the shape that's going up. So the shape that's going up looked like this. There we go. Let's make sure it follows the pattern. Down, down, left. It sure does. Found our answer. Let's try one more. Mike is making a design with toothpicks. If he follows the pattern, what will step seven look like? Well, let's see. We always want to see what's changing. So step one is right here. So from step one to step two, added this little L shape. And then he added this other little L shape. And step three to step four, another little L shape. So each time it's adding an L shape. I also notice that step one has one toothpick going up and down. And step two has two toothpicks going up and down. And step three has three toothpicks going up and down. Same with step four, four toothpicks going straight up and down. So that must mean if I'm looking for step seven, it must have seven toothpicks going straight up and down. It must be step seven. You now know all about patterns.